Hey guys, Rich Pacini here, doing the end of month sales for July. Um, I just want to share some listings with you guys that, uh, I, like I said in my other videos, if you're new for the first time, um, I like to do end of month sales whenever I, I do 10 or more. So uh, without further ado, let's go over it really quick. And then I want to share some information as to why I think I got the sale. So if you guys could stick around, check it out, it'd be great. All right, let's start. This one here, the Vintage Dodds 5th Avenue hat. I was asking $39.99 for it. I accepted the best offer. I believe it was for $30. Bucks. I took it, and that was for July 3rd. You can see the dates here. All right, so just keep that in mind. I've been accepting a lot of best offers. As long as, long as they're reasonable, I will accept the uh, best offers. But if somebody <laughs> makes a ridiculous offer, I will just decline it, just to guys, give you guys a heads up. Uh, the Farberware pot, I was asking $25 for it. Um, was, well, actually, that was the sale. This one didn't have the sale on it. It was going for $25 uh, with the sale. They got it for $23.75. That's with the uh, markdown manager I used. Okay, I took 5% off it. So, you know, hey, I think it helped. It's, I think, believe it honestly, be honest with you guys, I believe it did increase the sales. I, at least that's my personal take on it. So you might want to give it a shot. Uh, this one over here was for $29.99. And with the 5% off, I got $28.49 for it. Not bad. This one here was for $19.99, five percent off. It sold for $18.99. And that again, that's with the markdown manager I used. This one here did not have the markdown manager. That's when I started getting into it. Uh, this was going for $29.99. I think they offered me $25. If I'm not mistaken. I took the offer. It's gone. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. This one here was for $7.99. The almost famous woman's white shirt, size small. Uh, I was asking seven or nine for it. I think they offered me five. I took it. I'm trying to get rid of the girls' clothing. What you see on there is my daughter's stuff, so I'm trying to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much with women's clothing going forward. Uh, not that there's anything bad with you know wrong with it. It's just that to me, you know, I just I, I like to deal more with electronics or things like like what you see here, the Microsoft mouse, the Farberware pots, the things of that nature. I'm more of a, like electronics type of guy, but you know, on occasion, I it depends what I come across, to, you know, in thrift sales, whatever, you know, th uh, the thrift stores. Um, if it's something I feel is worth putting it up on eBay, I will do that. Here's the uh, vintage C is 600 personal electric printer. Um, it was 24.99 with 5% off. They got it for 23.74. Okay, this one here is another farber where this is a two to four cup. These things, folks, just to keep your eyes out for them, they do sell. People like these pots, just to let you know. If you can get them in really clean condition, test them out, and make sure they're working in good working order, you know, you can get a decent amount for it. Um, I don't usually go over the price of what I pay for these things, but let's put it this way I'm definitely making a profit on all these. Let's put it to you that way. <laughs> this was gone for $29.99. I believe they offered me $25 for it. I took it, you know, not bad. Here is the 5% uh, off again sales. This was a Cola Chrome Laboratory OEM pop-up assembly. I could have got probably more for this, folks. It was for $9.99. I had it. I put the 5%. They only got, say, 50 cents on it, but it sold. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, here, this printer here was going for $2.99. I put the 5% off on it. Um, I, got, I sold it for $284.99. Um, I checked it out. I wanted to make sure the buyer got it. You know, I got to say one thing really quick, though, guys. When it comes to selling these type of items, especially, I call it a high-end stuff. To me, it's a little high-end, you know, as far as pricing-wise. It's probably one of the more expensive things I've ever sold right now as far as for the month of uh, July. Uh, and I always are concerned that these items get to, to the, uh, their buyer in one piece, not in pieces, I always say. So, uh, yeah, this year I got this for a good price. Like I said, I took 5% off on it, and it sold for $284.99. Brand new. I got the same exact printer, and I was thinking of keeping this one because it's brand spanking new, and I was going to you know, sell my used one, but I said, you know what? I can get more money for it as a newer one you know, as brand new than I would as a used. So I said, you know what? I need the cash. Let me let the new one go. It is nice. The guy, I think the person got a good deal on it. I probably could have got more for it, to be honest with you, but I let it go at 284 So they got a good deal. They're happy, I hope. <laughs> if you're a buyer out there, follow me on my YouTube channel. If you're happy with the item, I'm happy. That's all that matters, you know? I want you to be a happy buyer. Uh, anyway, um, I, these items sold today. I might as well do it. I'm going to do an end of month. You know, whenever I get 10 or more, I will do an end of month 
uh, sales thing. I know 10 sales is not like the greatest thing. You probably, you guys probably want to hear. Well, I like to hear 15 or 20. I'm a small volume seller guy, so you know I gotta take what I can get. So if 10 is 10, you know if that's what I get at the end of the month, then that's what I get at the end of the month. What am I gonna do? You know you can't force people to buy off of you. So you know I'm happy with what I got. You know this one over here. I'm just gonna share the new ones for August. They came in today. Today's August 1st. Um, this pot here was going for 29.99. It got it for 24.89. All three of these items were dropped off today at the post office drop box. So I was able to get them in. Hopefully tomorrow morning they'll be processed. All three of these items, I believe, except that this one here. Uh, no, not this one. This one here is going out. These two are going out uh, UPS priority mail. And this is going out first class mail. So they've all been dropped off. All three of them are at the post office box, you know, the drop box. So tomorrow morning, hopefully they'll get it, process it, and boom, get it out to the buyer. Two, I think, are in New One's in New York. One is in New Jersey. And I don't know what the other one is. I forget offhand. But you can see here, they all, with the markdown manager, um, as you can see here, this was twenty nine ninety nine. I got it for twenty. You know, I sold it for twenty eight forty nine. This one was for twenty bucks. They got it for nineteen. And last but not least, for today, for August first, this one was going for twelve ninety nine. With five percent off, they got twelve thirty four. I know not a great big savings, folks, but you know, you gotta experiment with this stuff. I started dabbling with the Markdown Manager a while back, so you know, for me, eh, you know, it's to me, it's it's something new, and I like it. I can't complain. But I will say this in closing this video because that's all I want to share with you guys right now. Um, if you never tried it, definitely give it a shot. You know, go with the lowest amount. If you feel that like you could do better doing like a 10 or 15, 20%, that's totally up to you. I'm not telling you guys to do that there. But if you want to experiment with something and you want to see, you know, just to toy around to see if that item's going to move. If you ante it up a little, I like to keep all mine, as you can see here, all at 5%. Okay, so that's the way I work it. And I also did the promoted listings where, I, if you looked at my other video, I only did it where it's only 1%. I don't use the uh, suggested rate that eBay gives you. The promoted listing is what gets you higher in search. And I always use the one percent. I don't do. I don't go with the suggested ad rate that eBay gives you because the reason why. They get more money on the tail end. Once the item sells, they're getting that money. Plus, if you don't have a store, I have a starter store where I get 250 free listings a month. But if you don't, you're going to pay the promoted listing price. And you're also going to pay for the insertion fee unless they're free. So keep that in mind, okay? Just remember that. I always do the 1%. That's what I do. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other videos. I don't know which one it was, folks. I can't remember offhand. But... um. If I forget, if I don't rem if I don't forget, I will drop the link below. But most likely, I'm not going to be able. To, I don't know if I'm be able to find it. So uh, I just want to share it with you guys. Like I said, give it a shot. What do you got to lose? You know, said, and you only pay if the item sells. Okay. Um, and I got to say one thing with the new, um, what do you call it? With the new um, photo feature I showed you guys. Believe it or not, I think that helped too because I did crop some photos with that there. And like I said, if you watched the video I did the other day, make your eBay pitches stand out. I think, I, honest to God, I think that helped. I really do think that helped out, honestly. So give it a shot, folks. What do you got to lose? You know, it can't hurt. It can only help. So give it a shot. Anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to let you go. If you like my videos or any of my videos and you get a takeaway from them, check out the reseller news. Check out the Let's Talk eBay. Um, for those who are new, uh, or for those who are the the, uh, the subscribers who've been with me from the get-go, if you notice I changed my format, no more formal introductory. You guys probably like, yeah, good. I'm glad I don't want to hear that anymore. And I'm keeping the videos short than than I used to keep them like for an hour or 40. the only time if I do keep a you know if I do make a longer video, I will tell you right to boot. I will tell you right in the beginning this video is going to be a little longer than usual. You know, my, it's going to probably run a lot longer than. 15 or 20 minutes whatever but for the most part um i will give you guys a heads up going forward i'm going to try to keep the videos as short as possible i know you guys are busy and you don't have all day to listen to me and you know whatever so i hope you guys get a takeaway from my videos i hope they help this is basically uh an end of month sales video just to throw it out there show you what sells and you get an idea of the items i sell you might be on the lookout for them okay um just to show you really just to tell you something really quick the 
piece that you see the stem and insulator for the farmerware uh, in the earlier video I talked about buying uh, I think it was untested items. I think it's not the video untested items video um, that there I've been taking the parts because I didn't want to sell the pot is I want to sell it in, in parts and believe it or not when I sell it in the parts I will make more money on that farmerware pot than I did if I was to sell the whole thing as for parts not working and lastly I picked up this little bag right this little camera bag and for those who know what I'm talking about in the other previous video this bit this little bag here I mean I usually don't talk about what I pay for this here but I got this little camera bag for two dollars and fifty cents this camera bag really nice and for those who didn't know um, remember I was telling you guys that this camera I was gonna I bought this camera untested I tested it out folks and I'll do a video on it and show you how how it plays this little video this handy cam from Sony I love Sony products by the way this thing works great I mean I have to honestly say I got an extra battery with it I also got the battery charger from K star right here and I charged the battery gave it a full charge it takes hours to charge it up but let me tell you folks this little guy is great it's a nice camera I do have another video camera I think you might see it in my other videos what's nice it's like in your palm look at this thing look at this and then it's got a flip out screen which is nice too and it's got you could pull out the uh, viewfinder you know like that there if you want to use the viewfinder instead of the screen and all your buttons over here the vi uh, what do you call it the um, what, uh, what do you call it there? the video in and out you know uh, what do you call that again? You know, telephoto, wide length, you know what I'm saying. You know, you guys don't want to talk about it. And then you got all your little buttons here to adjust the volume and so on and so forth. Thing plays great. I was going to sell it, but now I decided to keep it. I love Sony stuff. But anyway, yeah, this was an untested item. And all I did to add to it to make sure it worked, I, had, I bought this with an extra battery. This is the one that came with it. This is the original Sony battery that came with it. And it had an original mini dvd cassette in there that's in there how to erase it because somebody had it but they didn't put too much you know there wasn't a lot of stuff on it so i erased it and i used it over and over again and i'm going to probably get another one but this little bag i tell you folks for two dollars and fifty cents i said i gotta get i'm going to keep the camera so i said i gotta get this bag i can't believe it. i got this at the thrift look how clean it is it's like brand spanking new look at that guys brand spank it's like a brand spanking new perfect you know but anyway listen like i say in other videos if you like this video or any of my videos, check out my other ones. If you like them, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated when I post it in the videos, hit the bell notification icon. And um, if this is the first time on my YouTube channel, I like to talk about online reselling. I talk about eBay. I do the Let's Talk eBay. I mean, yeah, Let's Talk eBay segment. Basically, that one there, just to share it really quick, is to talk about an issue I might have had with the buyer or is something that... I had an issue with eBay or whatever or something I want to clarify and that's where the let's talk eBay comes in and the reseller news basically is what's going on within the e-commerce world so if you get a chance guys check out those videos let me know what you think if you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay I am wishing you guys all the best in sales until next time bye bye for now